Hello, people of the internet. I am Solrak Dragon, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Last time, we had a great Maggie run for once, beating the Cathedral and Hush. Unfortunately, we did not go down to the Dark Room and beat Mega Satan like we had planned, but that's okay. This time, it's gonna be another challenge video. The question is, though, what challenge do we do? Um, let's try the family man, or no, let's try the host, actually, now that I think about it. If I remember correctly, yeah, the host only goes up to mom, which makes it a little bit easier. Granted, you still don't get any item rooms, so it's not super easy, but eh. You start off with the mulligan and spider love, which makes it so that when you take damage, um, spiders will spawn, and when you kill enemies, or when you deal damage or something, occasionally blue flies will spawn. So, I mean, it's not a hard run by any means, though I have had troubles with runs already in the past, though the purists did break that streak, so, I mean, who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and be able to actually do this run. Um, exploration is somewhat vital, since no item rooms does mean you have to rely on all other sources of items, so challenge rooms, chests and the like are all sort of vital. Shops too, so getting money is good. Um, lust, I mean, it's a potential item, it's a potential syringe item, in fact, which would be very clutch. Of course, this room kind of allows lust to dodge you a little bit easier. I got trapped on a rock there. Uh, spear heart, so we get that back, and a speed upgrade. Mm, not bad. Kind of wish I could break into that that uh, tinted rock, but. I already got one on this floor, so I guess it's alright. Time for the boss fight. Please be something relatively easy. Widow. Uh, there are harder ones out there. At least it is not Ragman. I swear, I've had Ragman as the first floor boss fight so many times in a row on these challenge runs that it just crushes me. Ragman is one of the harder um, first floor bosses, if not the harder potential first the hardest potential first floor boss. Spider, and we get pacify or pink ears. So spirit heart, size down, and speed upgrade. I'll take it. I mean, being smaller means you're a little bit of a harder target to hit. Am I right? Well, am I right? All right. Let's see Isaac suffocating in the chest, in the chest, and we get basement two for our next level. Good. We get an easy one. Um, go ahead and blow that up, I guess. There's a spirit heart, there's a card, both of which would take a bomb, and there is a chest, again, it would take a bomb. So it's possible you could get two for one deals, pretty much. Something to consider. There was also that room that I did barely acknowledge with the TNT and stuff that had a golden chest in it. Um, it might be worth visiting, maybe. Okay, kill the poop. Oh, damage. Another key. Let's check the shop here. Um, it's just a grin check for greed, if nothing else, since we don't have the money. There's another tinted rock that I would really like to break, but it does not seem likely. I swear, we're not getting any bombs this run, man. It's kind of bumming me out. Where are my bombs, man? Okay. Oh. We ran into a butthole, quite literally. Another key for us. Doing fine right now. Of course, that can all change when the Fire Nation attacks. Then only the Avatar Master of all four teen elements can stop them. When the world, when the world needed him most, he vanished. And a hundred years will pass before the new Avatar is found, and there'll be an airbender. And while they'll have great skills and power, it'll take a lot before they're ready to save anybody, but of course, we believe they can save the world, because we're just like that, I guess. Alright, we get a key. Um, honestly, this is probably worth more than the Tinted Rock. There's a Super Magnet, or no, that's just Pill Cap, I think which we can't pick up anyways, and nothing else but the spirit heart. So, 
Maybe, maybe not. We probably won't ever find out. Because likelihood... Oh, this is seated, isn't it? I mean, it's seated without the um, treasure rooms, granted. But it's still a seed, I want to say. Yeah, it is still a seed, so maybe we could find out. But that'd just be a little too much effort, I think. Yeah, it's a bit too much effort to go through, so I'm not gonna bother. Uh, Alright. Your time. And now boss time. Small room monstro. Um, it could have been a lot harder boss. Monstro in a small room even is not that bad, to be honest. I had harder small room, like small room pestilence is pretty much suicidal because of his creep shots. We have Crack Jack, so that's a trinket which we cannot pick up, and a free red heart, and Krampus as our fight, as our deal with the devil. Lovely level. You gotta love when you get Krampus, huh? Because he just screws over all your plans, though if he gives me his head, I won't be as angry, I suppose. Though, I would probably prefer Lump of Pool because that is a damage up. I get Lump of Pool. Uh, excuse me. Alright, moving on to the next floor. We can't pick up Laos there because, well, we have the tick, which can only be removed if you get a... What is it? The matchstick. Sure, we'll open the golden chest. We get a key. Money, which is more important. And we also get bomb. Kill those. White moles are easy enough. Kind of hard to see our tears since they're black and it's a black background, but it's not too. And the false Larry. Come on, die for me. Die for me. There we go. Oh, frick. Is this a flooded cave? It's a flooded cave. I didn't even realize it. Frick, flooded cave. So we're gonna run into blue leeches. Blue leeches. Okay. Easy room this one was. If we could get another spirit heart, we could hit that um, curse room up. But right now, it's not in the cards. Another bomb is nice. Very nice. We could actually have the secret room adjacent to the curse room here. Maybe. Very maybe thing. Maybe situation. Good. Good. Another bomb. It is definitely worth trying now, at least. Come on. There we go. So, test for secret room. And it is, in fact, here. Awesome. It's only money, but... Curse room could have something, maybe? Um, it could have spirit hearts. <sighs> that was bad. And no spirit hearts. Troll bomb. So we wasted three bombs and a half of a spirit heart for absolutely positively nothing. Isn't that a lovely waste of resources, game and viewers? I think so. Not really, though. Um, I mean, we did get three coins, I guess, so it's not complete loss. It does let us take the item from the item room if it is on discount, so... Oh, stay away, stay away, stay away! I don't know why those things seem to have variable explosion timers. Sometimes they seem to explode right away, other times they take their time and get right up next to you, and you can't avoid them before they go boom. Alright, go down. Find our shop? We found it. Okay... Careful, careful, careful! Mm. That was bad damage on my part. I should have avoided that. I really should have. I thought I could kill it in time, but... Alright, check out our shop here. Um, bomb, and that's it. So we move on. Head down, for some buttholes. Literally just two. Free pill, lock down. Down. Lovely parts. Lovely. Absolutely fantastic. I always wanted to get locked down. Not really. Frick. Sometimes, man, sometimes the game is just into you. <laughs> That's what I mean. 
Okay. Go through here. Get full hearts, so we're up to full health. And then we go into the mystery room. Then we just take on the um, boss, I guess. Friggin' bats. Bat bats take time because they have high HP for back their bat. Yeah, take that as a lesson, kids. If you want to have more hit points in any video game, get fat. Don't really though. It doesn't work, especially in RPGs where you create your own character. You can't just make your character super big and him having and then they have super tankiness. It sadly does not work that way. All right, the fallen. Um, you could have given us a mildly easier boss game. I mean, seriously, the Fallen is one of those higher tier bosses. Ouch. Oh, well, we're not getting a deal. We get the pack, though. Which is probably best case scenario. That is a deal with the devil item, and a darn good one, too. It gives you the spirit hearts, it gives you a damage upgrade, it gives you a tears upgrade. It is just, um, very good. Yeah, we're two-shotting the spiders now. Which is nice. Still spawning the flies. The nickel is great. Double this form of Ultra Pry. This form has the tear attack and the creep. Creep is probably the more dangerous of the two. Uh, we can't even pick that up, unfortunately. That's the left hand, which allows us to generate red chests instead of any other times. Bomb for two cents is not worth. Kill the turret. Then kill the fly baby. Double the key room. No, we have seven keys. Eight keys. So I don't see why not. Okay, carefully, careful here. Don't want to take damage. That is a tinted rock there. Come on. There we go. So we will bomb it. Key. The golden chest, which has a card, which is the devil. Some more damage. I think that's worth. And a two dice room. What does the two dice do? Just for quick reference, I'm the binding device. Piggy. Rerolls all pickups in the room. So to reroll those coins. The keys and a heart. Hmm. Probably could have gone for the coins actually, but ow. There was no way we could have gotten them. Alright. Oh, come on. Game. That was. You and I both know that was massive, massive, massive BS there. Okay. Another key. If we had flight, we could go for those, but we don't, so sad face. Half a heart is useless to us. Can't go into our cursed room just yet. It is still possibly in the cards later, but not right now. Oh yeah, the blue leeches won't even get close to us anymore. We're just so OP. Uh, we can't play any of that stuff either. We can go in here. Chaos. Um, and Sackboy as well. I didn't say Sackboy, but Sackboy is another big one right here. Um, I have a plan. It just depends on if we get the deal with the devil or not. So, let's continue going for now. Sack is Judgment and Devil. Keep the Devil. Uh, Champion Gertie that only spawns minions does not actually fire at you is probably a good scenario here for not taking any damage. So long as we take out the pustules that are out of place, and we take out the fly that shoots at you, it should be fine. Go. Spawn it, Gertie. There we go. Gertie is down. We get speedball. Well worth. And our deal with the devil is worth it. The nail. Temporary demon form. Okay. So now, what was I thinking exactly? Well, first, let's go pick up Sack Boy. For more sacks. Bomb that. Get our bomb back. Let's 
strength. No. Let's get judgment first. I have a plan, people. I have a plan. Rest assured. Okay, we'll lay down judgment there. It's another coin judge. Alright. Now, we go back for the strength card. Take strength. Now comes the fun part. Pop strength in here. We get IV bank, portable blood bank, and we also get Gimpy. But Gimpy is more important. Uh, we didn't get as many plays out of that as I would have liked. But we did still get some. The luck upgrade is good. Now we need to find health. I do have a plan, people. Trust me. Play it again. Didn't blow up. Uh, we go for the chaos. Chaos. Pop you. Take that stuff. Good. And play this again. Two times. Get sack, which is another battery charge. And we also get a car, which is Wheel of Fortune. Pop that down. Yep, he pays out with the spirit heart. We're spawning a lot of spiders here. Uh, let's give you some money. Because you will give us sacks, as expected. You also give us Mr. Boom, reusable bomb buddy. Kinda useless, but okay. Get another charge there. We get another judgment card. Get this some more. We get I get blood bag this time, which is an HP up and that. Take IV bag. Pop it. Spawning loads of spiders. The dime is clutch nail again. Now we donate to you guys. Uh, missing page two and toothpicks. Thank you, Chaos. Then we give you some money so we can get some health back. More money. Down to 15 cents. Um, and then we blow the two of you up because Keybagger, unfortunately, has nothing for us. Sacks we abuse to get more, um, charges. We're good on cash now. Now with the Spirit Heart, we can go into here. Spiders will take care of those. With more health, we get our Spirit Heart back. And now we keep exploring. Not much to explore, granted, and our spider army will do a good deal of damage. Our DPS is insane now. Alright, that's it for this floor. We abuse it as much as we can, both Sackboy and other stuff. So, let's move on. Next floor, we should be able to buy some stuff. We gotta pick up the, deal be the devil before we leave. And now we leave. Alright, I think this is gonna be a successful run here. We're gonna definitely... Uh, Excuse me, beat mom and get another challenge out of the way. Okay, you can take callus, which again we can't take because we have the friggin' tick. I mean the tick isn't so bad now, but still. Okay. Exploring back corpses in a challenge room. Blue challenge then. Bomb control. We'll blow you up. More of these, so we will pop the nail because there is the high likelihood of getting a bat charge here. We did get it, we'll get it, we'll pop it again. We have one more bat charge here, so we can go ahead and pick it up. Get another charge of the nail. Of course, we keep taking dumb damage, it's not gonna really matter. Uh, the moon. Of course, your heart will pop the moon. Moon gets us 99 bombs. Sure. Why not? First we blow those guys up first. 
We have 99 bombs. And we have our shop likely here. It's a greed fight. That's fine. I can fight the greedy man. Steam sale. As well as a bet, which is the card for the Joker. We'll hold on to that, I think. Oop, quite literally. I'm actually glad I haven't taken any deals with the devil yet. Since that means that I could get deals with the angel, which could be free items, rather than having to pay. Good. Kill them all, kill them all. Ouch, ouch, Urson. Um. Spirit Heart. Completely didn't notice the tinted rock there. Go for this. Uh, Justice. Justice. Control bomb. Butt bombs. Plenty of red hearts. Strength and two of hearts. We can, of course, crush everything now. Okay, keep going on. I always forget about that aspect of the, um, nail, by the way. The fact that I can break everything underneath my step. Alright, done. We get another back charge. Okay. Headless horseman. Shouldn't be a hard fight. We don't even need to utilize the nail here. I don't think we do. Kill horsey, kill heady. And headless horseman's done. Only a turret remains. Come on. There we go. I will take the pony real quick. Use Joker. Uh, one red heart for three demon hearts we will take. That's a standard actual deal with the devil. Alright, and then we'll take back our nail because I'd rather have nail for infinite health than the pony for flight. Dank depths two. Alright, another one of you. But with only two red hearts, it's not really worth. I mean, it could get us into that red challenge room. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay, then we go here. The golden chest is bleach. Very interesting, actually. Now, anytime he does damage or kills an enemy, I think we restore some health. Maybe? Or something like that. Of course, we're not going to give him a chance to kill anything at this rate. And play the blood bank a bit more. Heart's good. Get us some more. Money. And we get another blood bag. Alright, so that's more health and another speed upgrade. All just keep swimming fast like lightning here. Yeah, this is definitely a one run. There is nothing that can stop us from winning at this point. Absolutely, positively nothing. Two parts is fine. Yeah, this Jula is not a threat. Ever, generally. Unless it's a small room and you've got low rate of fire or low damage. Then he is a major threat, but right now. Might as well just give up, game. I've won this run. Won it. Hard. Ooh, Mom's Knife. We want to break the run a little bit more. Sure, we have to pick it up Some Actually, I don't think it counts towards achievements, but still, let's pick up Mom's Knife. A normally a deal with the devil item, but in this case, it's just awesomeness. It gives us massive damage increase. So, yeah. Uh, sure, we can play you. Why not? You best give me something good, though. Otherwise, you may find yourself without life. Uh, Lost Live. Sure. Puberty is neutral. Two of hearts, Two of hearts doubles our current health. Eh, that's fine. More money. And... Let's just end this run. Hello, Mom! I 
I could just stand right up next to her and kill her faster, but negative taken, and we get the trophy, which means we unlock Tech Point 5 has appeared in the basement. That is technology shots that do not take away our tears, I want to say. Yeah, or something like that. Anyways, I have been Solrak Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you guys want to check out some more videos by me, be sure to check out my channel below. And if you like what you see, drop me a subscription. Outside of that, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic day, everybody.